Good evening. Welcome to another edition of Observations of an American Living in Germany. It is very nice and cool out here on this late August night. Feels very refreshing. It's probably 62, 63 degrees. I'm out here on the terrace. Both of the cats are walking around. The kids who are playing outside downstairs must have gone in for the night. I think they're back in school now. They're not up till all hours of the night in the playground. Um, anyway, here in Wiesbaden, in the state of Hessen, there apparently is going to be an election. Over the weekend, um, somebody put up all these campaign posters everywhere. Uh, a local resident, uh, one of my neighbors, said that the election was supposed to be October 8th. So I don't know if this is a... Germany-wide election, or whether it's just the state of Hesse, or if it's just Wiesbaden. I don't know. But I did see some of the prominent political party candidates listed. There was the C somebody from the CDU, another candidate from the SDP. I saw a couple signs for Der Linke, L-I-N-K-E, which means the left. I saw one for the AFD. It's got that little arrow underneath it. It looks like the Amazon Prime symbol. But the AFD, they're supposed to be the far right party. Um, I saw another one. I think it was the SFD? SDF? I don't know. Um, not sure what that one stands for. And then I saw some other ones that apparently it had a picture of a stethoscope with a number 6,000 under it. Not sure what that's supposed to mean. I my knowledge of German is really pretty bad, but, uh, you know, uh, just in case people don't know, my wife and I are here, we're U.S. citizens, we do not participate in the German political system, not our fight, we don't have a dog in that fight, it's kind of interesting to learn a little bit about it, but, you know, we have our, our state elections in, in Virginia, we have our statewide elections this coming November. And that's for our state senate, our house of delegates, plus our local, our commonwealth's attorney, our sheriff, uh, county administrators, I'm sorry, county supervisors. Uh, they will, I believe, pick the county administrator. But um, in Virginia, some counties elect their school boards. Ours does not. And I think that's one of the issues on the ballot. Um, but... In a lot of states in the United States, they're not having any elections this year, but Virginia does our statewide election for the General Assembly and whatnot. We do ours on odd numbered years. Um, yeah, I said sheriff's commonwealth's attorney, also the commissioner of revenue and the treasurer. Um, if you live in a town or certain cities in Virginia, you might be electing a mayor. But we live in an un unincorporated area of a county, so we're not in a town, and we're not in an independent city, so there's no mayor or anything where we live. Um, obviously, we vote by absentee, absentee ballot. Um, we've done that many times. We're allowed to do that since we live overseas. But as far as the Germans go, um, I'm sure they've got their interesting campaigns going on. I don't really watch German TV. I do follow one website called DW.com. It's an English language website that has a lot to do with Germany and the EU and Ukraine. And they deal with a lot of international stuff too. It's usually pretty informative. Um, they do a very good job with their translation too. It's I think they have Americans working there or something. Their English is great. Um, but uh, anyway, we don't have a dog in the fight. Uh, we don't, we don't, pay the German taxes since we're taxed back home by our state, our federal, and our local government. Uh, you know, we're just Auslanders here. We don't, um, you know, we're just like guests because we're not, we don't participate in the German healthcare system, the German welfare system, the German pension system, and obviously we don't vote here. So we're just outside observers, so to speak. So, you know, I'm sure there's probably going to be a protest or something, but we stay away from that stuff. You know, don't want to get in trouble with our government or the German government. So hopefully it'll all go peacefully. And uh, I imagine this area is probably very strongly um, 
SDP or CDU. Probably that's probably the biggest fight. Um, you know, the other parties, the Greens, the their link, AFD, they're probably smaller percentages, but they could still enable somebody to win with a plurality. Um, you do have a lot more parties here than we do in the United States. I mean, in the United States, it's pretty much Republican or Democrat. We do have some third parties. Um, you know, you got the Libertarians. We have the Green Party in the United States. Some places you have the Constitution Party, the Reform Party, the No Labels Party. You, you have some minor ones, but it's pretty much usually the big two. Uh, you know, I'm not going to get into which one is better because there are so many differences between the United States and Germany that some things we do in the United States would be an absolute disaster in Germany and some of the things we do in Germany would be a disaster in the United States. They're just two different places. But I feel fortunate and blessed to be able to enjoy my time here. Anyway, I'm going to sign off. Good night. Ciao. Auf Wiedersehen. Schönen Abend. And tschüss.